Okay, so let me just clear all of these so we can start with a base, fresh base template. So this is my little car building kit that I will have for sale very soon, where it's like a, an extension to the basic uh, vehicle template that allows you to swap out various mods and things for your cars. Uh, we've got spoilers, we've got like door handles, all that good stuff. But that's not what we're here for at the moment. What we're here for is the, the cell shader stuff. So it's a two-part system. So you're going to need to add two arrays to your post-process pro, post -process material in your post-process volume. Oof, that's a lot of words. Um, and when you've installed the kit, uh, it's just simple drag and drop a folder. You'll get a bunch of these shader stuff. Now, we, it's a two-part system, as I say. So we've got outlines. So if we go into our masters, when we just select the, the default tune outline, we'll get a tune outline. We've got a slightly thicker one. Uh, we've got a, a black and white one that we're taking all our values from. And we've got a, a base shading model. So as you can see, that changes the shading on the lighting. So what we need to do, first of all, is decide what kind of outline we want to use. Now I've got quite a few of these chalkboard ones that I've included. So we've got like the default one. The default one excluding the light box. We've got one that focuses more on highlights. Um, we've got one that focuses more on highlights with that sky box. Uh, we've got an intense one and an intense. So if you want to make some really cool arena style stuff, you could use that. We've got the one with the same one without the, the light box. And we've got um, intense with a more focus on highlights. So if we switch between that and the normal intense one, you'll see the difference in that there you go and we've got a soft version which just kind of mutes a lot of the lines out and you can do that again without the sky and you could do the same again but with a little bit more focus on highlights and again we've got that one excluding the sky but mainly you're going to be here for the the, the default outliners so we've got the default tune one um which we have a thick version of as well. Um, and then we've got the shading model. So in this bottom section is where we're gonna put our shading model. So if we go through some of these, we've got the 80s cartoon one. So we can select that, which is basically the same as the default one. But we've got a more intense version of that. And we've also got a thinner version of that. So if we just go with the default 80s tune one for now, we can then focus on adding the second array element, which is going to be our shaders. So if we go into the shaders for the 80s, we've got three different types. We can add quite a harsh shading. We can add a quite an intermediate one. And we've also got a pretty flat muted one. So I'm going to go with the intermediate, I think, for now, because that looks pretty good. And we've also got some anime ones. So if you wanted to give it a more of an anime look, we've got like a little really bright one that blows out the white. We've got a more muted one that adds in kind of like a sepia tone. And we've got one that just kind of darkens everything and pulls the shadows out of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the uh, 80s number two. There we go. Because it gives it a more kind of softer shadow look and then now if we have a look at the game you'll see that when we choose our skirts and stuff we've got a really high contrast anime look and we can even change this mid game as well so if we want to change our shading model we could do this and change it to 80s one and oh actually yeah i like that it's more of a gradient between the shadows you see the difference there and then we've got 80s default which is much darker with less contrast so I think we'll go with that and we'll check the rear skirts out. See, now that looks a bit darker. I've not added any additional lighting to this though. So um, this is all just being done by the shader. I think that looks a bit better, a bit more masky. Uh, spoiler. Yeah, let's, let's adjust the spoiler. And let's just go for a drive. And you can see, uh, I mean, ignore the background. That's just a, a basic... Uh, track that I downloaded but you can see how cool that cell shading look is and for a difference if we take it away completely we'll clear that and we'll clear the, the shader and there we go we'll go back to normal and now you can see just how much of a difference that cell cell shader was actually making to the the look of what was going on so if we add that back in so now we've got our shading being added to our faces. 
And then if we go back in and we'll grab one of our outlines and we'll do our default cartoon. And there we go. Now we've got our um, lines being added back in as well. So yeah, this is going to be available for, for you to buy, download, um, and use in your game. It's not going to be very expensive, just a couple of bucks. That will be all. So again, we can play around with these lines here and just try and follow. Oh, that is the look, isn't it? That's the look. That is the look. But yeah, you can play around with these, combine them, mix them, match them in all different kinds of ways and use them in your games and get a really cool, sweet anime look. So I hope you enjoyed that. And it, like I said, the link will be in the description. Go buy it. It's all good.